Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've got Emporia Smart Home Energy Monitor and it says third generation. So let's take a look what's the difference first um, compared to the other one. I have four other, uh, the second probably generation and this one is quite a bit different. So now we have the uh, CAT6 connector which is cool because not always you have a good Wi-Fi connection and also we have uh, different connectors type if you guys are familiar with the um, monitoring tool there they didn't have this this was a different sensor type they unplug easily so we'll see how this 16 also has connectors I, all, I purchased the 8 connector version but I guess you can expand and get more of those sensors uh, 50 amp sensors so let's uh, see how hard the design seems to be i don't know if it's smaller it's kind of narrower i think it's more of a square box so it doesn't have those uh, extras uh, i don't know if it's compacted more compact or not it's probably not too much but it's slightly different uh, so let's take a look at the uh, cabling because this is what kind of interested to me what's the uh, how the connectors are. All right, so let's open and see. So the large sensors are pretty big, I don't know. They're more of a square type. What I feel like, probably a little bit bigger. What I don't really like much is the cable. It used to be like a single cable with a different connector. This one have a, like a two wire, which seems to me it's not a good uh, upgrade. But let's see where it's connect, line one, line two. I need to check instruction. Now oh, this is the lines. Oh, this is the A, B and C, so I guess we have A and B, we'll just go connect here. Does it hold better? Uh, slide out pretty easy. I don't feel like it's it's holding up. Well, it's holding all right, I think. Not too bad, uh, but it's not like you have a locking system, you know, that clicks and locks the actual key in. That. The issue with the previous design, I think that the pins are easily will pull out. This one looks like holds up a little bit better. So we'll hope that this is going to be a better feature. All right, let's look at the smaller connectors, see how they look. Okay, so what do we have? We have obviously pretty much the same nothing changed here if we're gonna be using Ethernet there will be actually a lot less stuff there's nothing here just an empty box just to fill the space I guess and this is our power connector well this piece get, got a little bit different but I feel like it's taking more space possibly now and look at the wire size I don't know why they upgraded this wires are look a lot a lot thicker than before uh, this is 16 AWG where before we just had probably like 18 or 20 wire maybe for more accuracy they don't want a voltage drop I don't know but it doesn't make sense probably not much drop in those wires as well yeah so connector look like sitting a lot better all the wires gets together so you don't need to connect anything here you just have to make up and connect your ends here should be pretty easy install and let's take a look at our small sensors 50 amp sensors that are here all right so yeah, 50 amp sensors. I'm gonna look about the same, I wanna say, just the different connectors, yeah. So my hope is that connectors here, not gonna pull up that easy because on the 
other generation, these guys pulls out pretty easily and disconnect sometimes the circuit. So that's my only hope that it's gonna be a better connection here. All right, well, uh, well let's get it installed. I don't need all eight sensors, so I'm gonna have some extra maybe for another one that I need. So it's, so far is my number five. Is it number five? Yeah, number five, so the fifth one. Four other ones I have previous generation and the third generation is just this one and it's a fifth one that I own so let's get it installed all right so we've got the red uh, coming to the B line and the black wire to the A line that's how I usually like to put and we're gonna have this wire just kind of extend and wrap around this side of the panel. So we have our power already connected and this is gonna be our B side. So it is kind of a little bit upside down reversed, which I think is kind of fine. It doesn't really matter which way you put in it. Uh, as long as you can organize this wire, there's a lot of wires from this thing that's gonna be flying around. So I'm gonna put on this side of the breaker and then the rest of the wire is going to go to the right where I have space here okay so I'm going to attach temporarily for now uh, antenna and I'm going to run it just to the outside of the panel as of right now it will just come out to the side here uh, so I'm not going to drill the hole yet or put it inside the wall so it will be just kind of exposed just like that right there and I'm gonna leave it just outside hanging so we can get a good signal all right so the rest of it is just connect those breakers so I'm gonna use only really I'm having only one two two lines one two three four four lines here so I only need four really, uh, four sensors here, even though I have eight of them. Really annoying that it's falling out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just tape it out just like that, temporarily, and just have it taped to the top, right there, so it sits there, and it doesn't create like falling out effect here. All right, so now I'm going to get those little sensors one by one. And since it's 220 line, you only have to connect to one side. I'm going to be connecting to all black side, which is A, side A for me. So this is going to be a first one. And again, follow the load arrow right there. Load is where it's going from the breaker out to the load, right? So that's the uh, opposite. If the large one going either to the panel or to the main breaker, the small one's going, arrow going to your load, which is your uh, devices or plugs, wherever it is. So we connect that one. And now we go into the next. Number two here. Connect it in there comes out okay so I look like I was able to push them all kind of in a little bit let's see if I can close the door on my panel and this is a kind of pushing in inside a little bit yeah so yeah looks like it's fine uh, should be able to close okay let's power up first and we'll take a look to our app and we'll see what's going on with this device if we're able to identify it so like, give me a sec here all right so we have power connected we need to just turn these two breakers on to power this up hopefully the light or something gonna come up on this right there start blinking so it's looking for wireless Let's try to add it right here in the app. A new device. Uh, 
our device and management devices. And we're gonna go to Empor Emporium, Energy, and there is a Gen 3 already here. So the Gen 1 was just like this. I have Gen 2, four of the other ones is Gen 2. So let's do Gen 3. Uh, go directly to setup. Okay, allow, and here we have device already. Scanning available networks. So it should be pretty straightforward. I have this, uh, all right, so I have my, uh, found my network, so I need to just type in the password real quick. Okay, so now it's connecting to network. Saying Militech, all right, so connecting to Emporia Energy. This may take a minute. Okay, so I, I did turn the antenna slightly up and it's got the better connection. So just I'm gonna name it, uh, since it's in garage, I'm just gonna call it garage. Garage panel. And this is uh, panel gonna be number four already. All right, let's save it. Let's see what we've got here. Hopefully we'll see all these lines connected now and my miners and my other panel uh, recognize right away. It says updating the latest firmware will take no longer than three minutes. So yeah, let's wait for update firmware update on this device and I'll come back in a sec. All right, so it looks like it took about almost three minutes here. Uh, so it's all good, okay, show me the energy. And this is my garage, the panel right there. It's showing 13 um, kilowatts. Let's switch to the amps. So it doesn't show uh, balanced. Really reason for it because I don't have it set up for 240 volts, all of these devices. So I'll have to go to my uh, manage devices and switch those circuits to number two here. All right, so this is my number two. That means I'm using 240 volts. So it's uh, basically it's multiplying twice uh, my usage. Uh, this is a multi circuit multiplier. So for 120, you use one, for 240, you use two. And we can call the uh, name for this circuit. So for example, this one is my uh, miners, I don't even remember. I'm just put M. I think it's 10 through 12. Uh, three of my, my miners connected there. Circuit type. Uh, you can do just others or picked up. Any type of stuff here. I'll, I usually put other and this is my number one circuit. Then the second one. We do same thing, multiplier two. Since I'm using all 240 volts, I'm gonna do that same for all of this. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's double check. Two, 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 two. So all multipliers are two. Also here in the custom uh, shortcuts, you can configure this one and basically move your circuits how you want it because you, you may want uh, in specific order. So you can click that and let's say put miners first and then shed and then the block. And I can leave the shed at the very end or actually the very first one. So you really can organize nicely here in the app the way you want it. And then when we look at the energy, it's gonna show the panel first and then the rest of the stuff. And so let's compare. So my panel three and panel three right here is 35 uh, watts. 35 amps, so it's pretty close together, right? So let's uh, switch to the watts. And I have 8.4 watts, so it's about 800 watts. Always shows a little bit more at the panel at home than right here at the actual panel, eh? because there is a voltage drop, I believe. I have 100 feet to this panel, so it will be always showing less probably wattage there because of the voltage drop at this panel. That's my understanding. 
but let's uh, let's take a look here again uh, a couple more spots so this is my main panel I can look in the amps reading and again I have a hundred amps breaker coming to here so my maximum load is should be 80 amp and it's for some reason it's showing a 40 I don't understand that um, something not right and total usage B is 75 amp right here uh, which totally doesn't make any sense yeah not sure what's going on 16 kilowatts well maybe it is 75 watts of usage right now yeah it just doesn't show correctly uh, the amperage and it shows balance really really weird wow what's going on let's go to the amps again and let's go to my settings what did I possibly did wrong here I have the A and B two circuits A and B which is 120 120 and why is one showing only 40 amps and the other 75 maybe oh I know what it is look at this guys this lag did not clip all the way well I'm glad I catch that in my video here in the real time so basically look at this one it's showing 40 amp on my first leg right there but it's not closed all the way I have to click look at that I don't know if you could see that as soon as I'm closing the sensor it's showing 70 and when I open it goes different 37 amps so if you're not all the way clip this uh, sensor basically together it will not show you correct usage so see like right not, not now 57 so yeah really important guys as you go connect these guys uh, make sure I'm gonna show you like let me zoom in here right there I hope you could see it didn't it looks like it closed but this little clip didn't go all the way in that's what I'm having issue with so what I need to do really is push all the way in oops click did you hear that so now it's engaged that whole thing together so they're all tight and close so all these are clipped inside together okay so that's very important guys make sure you do that uh, if you're installing that let's look, take a look at the usage now it's perfectly aligned 75 on each leg 75 amp on each leg totally fine so I'm under 80% rule but I'm kind of getting all the way to the point where it's loaded to the max so I don't want to go to 80 probably need to keep around 75% here on this current panel amp 100 amp panel because it's 100 amp breaker controlling and I want to any overheating on that breaker and let's take a look at the bot it's using right now yeah so now it's 17.9 so yeah I was correct 18 is like uh, something is your 80% so we totally fine here now my main is to the top load so everything been loaded to the max I guess everywhere I could is at 80% this is the 80 so let's take a look my uh, 50 amp panel is at 40 60 amp panel at 48 that's 80 percent 80 almost 80 percent just uh, one amp off and this one 50 is has a little bit a little bit still gap but I can't use it because my main is almost to the top I don't want to overload over 150 amp, amp on my main because that's really my main breaker getting really really hard uh, hot so I guess that's it for this video it's pretty simple install yeah you, you guys saw it so if you do that with your uh, sensors and they don't click together that's where you have potentially issue with it will not show you correct uh, 
reading for your amperage. So really, really important. Make sure you're not gonna get the right watts, not right reading. Maybe really frustrating. So make sure if something off before you close the panel, make sure they're all, all the sensors click together. Very, very important, guys. All right, that's it, I guess, for this video. I'm gonna put the panel cover back. All right, so it's not very big panel. Uh, sometimes you have less or more space, but I figure in this panel, I had enough space for so far to use it for this uh, setup. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna leave this wire coming out for my, uh, basically for my Wi-Fi for now until I, I'll figure out the connect to the CAT6 and test it out, but I'm pretty sure CAT6 will be more of a stable connection rather than having Wi-Fi connect all the time, all right, so. All right, so I have it back on my cover. I'm not gonna put all the rest of the screws. I don't wanna get this wire. Uh, I'm gonna just keep it just like that. So my antenna kind of pointing out somehow right there. So I have a good signal there. All right, so that's it for this video. This video. Hit the like button if you like it and consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you on the next one.